Fallout 4 is a game rated M by the ESRB. He'll stay by you now. I saw it. You saw it? It's the cams, kid. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. Oh boy, that's it. I'm out of here. What's going on here? This thing's a synth. That's what. We've been traveling with it for weeks. You know what? You should kill him. What? No! Good riddance, Synth. I'm just trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, I find that a bit difficult to believe. I'm from Vault 111. You're a vault dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Follow me, and try not to lag behind. Mark Jet is a short hike to the west. If we take this road, we should be able to avoid the larger packs of ferals infesting Cambridge. Traveling this far from the police station is a risk. But getting that transmitter up and running needs to be our top priority. There it is, Mark Jet Systems. There shouldn't be any exterior security, so we'll head in through the front. Listen up, we do this clean and quiet. Heroics and buy the book. Understood? This isn't my first rodeo. I understand that. I'm simply offering valuable tactical advice. You'd do well to listen. Engine course ahead. Should be our final stop. Oh my god! Are you alright? Got cooked by those flames. Thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's get out. I'd be honored to join. That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station, and we'll discuss the details. Are we in luck, sir? Mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally, some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Halen, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the Brotherhood. She shows a lot of promise, and with the proper guidance, I think she has the potential of becoming one of the best. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Whatever. I'm not going to be here long. <sighs> Another Sino evil type. You'll fit in just fine with all the inept guards. This is between me and my wife. Why don't you mind your own damn business for once? Oh, God, Paul, why do you always have to make a scene? Pour me another drink, Henry. Damn it, Darcy, I just want you to come home. I'll be home later. I can't believe you'd do this to me, Cook. Do what to you, Paul? You smug bastard. You keep away from my wife, God damn it. You'd better get out of here before you do something stupid. You son of a bitch. Go on. Get out of here. I'll be at home, Darcy. Taking care of our son. You were in the tap house before, and 
You got your ass kicked by your wife's lover. Yeah. Pretty pathetic, right? The guy's sleeping with my wife, and I can't even do anything about it. Everybody's got their problems, pal. No, I need your help. I'll... I'll pay you. I've got some money, and I can get some more. You're gonna have to make it worth my while. Well, okay. I can only pay you 80 caps right now, but I'll scrape together more after we take care of Cook. If you're just going to talk to him, why do you need me along? I don't want to hurt Cook, but if he doesn't listen to me, I don't know what I might do. Let's get this over with. Okay. Jesus, Paul. What now? It's time for you to shut up and listen, Cook. What the hell is this? And what are you doing here? What difference does it make? I just like to know who to shoot at when the guns come out. Well, I'm listening, Paul. What do you have to say this time? Just this. You leave Darcy alone, starting now, or else. Now that is a very bad idea. You don't want to pull a gun on me unless you intend to use it. But you think I won't use it? Huh, do I just need to kill you? Is that what you're saying? Better just shoot him, Paul. Hell, I gotta get out of here. You should too, before someone walks in here and pins this on us. What are you gonna do now? I don't know. Things just got crazy. Can't believe he's actually dead. One of the Brotherhood's most important duties is the recovery and preservation of technology that was lost when the bombs fell. I have a list of locations that contain artifacts we need you to recover in order to have them cataloged and studied by our scribes. Any luck with that artifact? There it is. Good job. Hope it didn't give you any trouble. I might take a look. It ain't that simple. We don't just let anyone inside. There's an entrance test. You discover a young boy lost in a cave. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Confiscate the property by force, and leave the boy there as punishment. Very curious. I signed on with old man Stockton to find his lost caravan. What's left of it is just outside of town. The last stop was here, so I've been trying to put together the story. But I keep getting the runaround. Do you know anything about Stockton's caravan? No, sorry, they never came here. Could you tell me anything about the compound? Compound? Who said anything about a compound? There are two ways this meeting can end. We come to an agreement, or there's violence. You really don't want to start a fight with me. Agreed. Killing would be a costly proposition. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden sins, to root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? Someone needs to destroy the Institute. A perfectly rational response. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton's sin and continue our work, I'll match whatever reward you were offered. Continue your work then. Excellent. What? What are you doing? I'm certain the autopsy will confirm my hypothesis. No! There. As promised, you'll find a covenant has a lot more to offer since we've come to this understanding. Like it or not, one of our most important duties is to keep the Commonwealth clear of the trash. I'm talking about mutants, ghouls, synths. The abominations the damn eggheads caused when they started playing with their toys. This op is simple. I'm gonna send you to a target, and you're gonna terminate everything that calls it home. Well, look who's back. I take it that area's clear? Affirmative. Keep it up, and I may start believing you got some real guts. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. I'm off to find the loony sister, then. Hold up there. First time in good neighbor? <laughs> I like you already. Walk into a new place, make a show of Nice. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Get lost. Ah. 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 
Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Nine rings a bell. Gonna bomb me? This lady here was just looking for Emma Jean. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Emma Jean was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. You must be Emma Jean. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. I was well known as one of the bells of Boston society. Back when there was any. I don't care about your beauty treatments. Let's go already. I don't recall asking you to rescue me. Your boyfriend's dead. Let's go. Thomas? He wasn't my boyfriend. We had some fun together, that's all. Weren't you off looking for Imogene? Did you find her? Yeah, I found her. Hard to believe she didn't want to come home to her loving family. That's truly none of your concern. Are you ready to head up to the ship? That minigun in front of you is loaded and ready to fire. If you spot anything hostile during the flight, I suggest you put it to good use. I wish everyone down there believed in her cause, but they've been blinded by rumors and misinformation. There she is. It's been far too long since I've been aboard. All right, soldier. This is the moment when everything changes. I hope you're ready. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted her to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor her entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. We'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request to place the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Sith. A robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. From this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain you will. How did it go with Elder Max? I was very impressed with him. He seems to know what's best for everyone. Exactly. Without his determination, we'd be lost. I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Well, there was this one really ugly guy in college. I mean, I had to get drunk and <laughs> it was a dare. I... That hardly qualifies. So I uh, just put no. Ah, good. We're all finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Clean your glasses, Pops. Pops? What does that mean? Oh, wait, I see. That's in reference to my age. Clever. I'll make a note of that. So, you're the new recruit I heard about. Uh, not what I was expecting. I can handle myself. Hey, if Paladin Dance vouched for you, that's good enough for me. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Nope. No problem whatsoever. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well around here. Ah, a new customer. Welcome to 
Max Bar. We are currently open for business. Please excuse the mess. This must be the smallest bar I've ever seen. Actually, I used to have a smaller one, up near Quincy, until the gunners run me off. It was about the size of a bar stool. Anyway, what'll it be? Just browsing for now. No rush, but I don't want a long line for them, okay? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. I thought the enemy was the Institute. Super mutants are no better than sense. They're a reminder of man's folly when it comes to harnessing technology. Welcome aboard, Knight. Target acquired. I'll try to keep him in your sight. Wiping them out was a pleasure. I wish all of mankind shared your sentiment. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way, because our mission here has only just begun. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. What's this project that needs her attention? Dr. Lee previously worked on a potent weapon for the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd like her to continue where she left off. That's all I can tell you. I've been sent by the Brotherhood of Steel to find you. You don't beat around the bush, I'll give you that. How can I turn my back on all of this? Your work could be instrumental in freeing the Commonwealth. <sighs> You really know how to push my buttons, don't you? I've convinced her that the Institute is the enemy, not the Brotherhood. Well done, Knight. As soon as Dr. Lee arrives, we'll interrogate her aboard the Pridwin. Maxon and Kells have been looking for something that'll tip the balance when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Institute. Now, the Pridwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. That's where our new project comes in. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, we're going to need your help. No problem. I'm sure this only looks worse than it actually is. Huh. I wish I had your confidence. It's going to take a hell of a lot of work to get Liberty Prime back online. But we'll get it done. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. basic functions and he's ready to go. It won't be long before Prime can walk and talk, but he's missing one last important element. His nukes. Without a fully loaded nuke pack, Prime won't have the firepower to take on the Institute. Proctor Quinlan has located some records regarding a military installation, which was used as a nuclear weapons storage facility. I'll head out there immediately. Good, because that's exactly what we're asking you to do. It's good to see you again, Knight. You've come a long way since you stumbled in the Cambridge Police Station. Thanks, Halen. I assume the place is still in one piece. We're doing the best that we can. We've rigged up this distress pulser to emit a unique tone that we'll be listening for. When you find the bombs, plant the pulser, and we'll handle the rest. Stranger, 
You walk on Atom's hallowed ground. Just tell me where you keep the nukes. Your words betray your intentions. Enough of this nonsense. Tell me where the nukes are. Right now. Your anger will not bring you closer to Atom, nor to his holy works. All right, Nutjob. This is your last warning. Show me the nukes, or else. No! <laughs> Good find. Liberty Prime, back online. With him on our side, I don't see how the Institute even stands a chance. I couldn't agree with you more. Is there anything you wish to tell me, Knight? I'm not sure I like how you're asking me that. And I don't appreciate being betrayed by my own soldiers. After everything I've achieved, why would I jeopardize my position here? Dance is a synth. He represents everything we hate. A monstrosity of technology. Listen, I'm not blind to the fact that Dance was your mentor, and this isn't an easy burden to bear. But if we're to remain strong, we can't afford to make exceptions. Even when it means executing one of our own. What the hell is this crap about Dance being a synth? I assume your outburst was a reference to some doubt regarding Dance's identity. I can assure you that my findings are quite accurate, Scribe. So he sets Dance up, and then you knock him down. Is that it? I don't like your tone, Halen. My tone? Who cares about protocol at a time like this? Scribe Halen, you're addressing a senior officer, and you will show her the respect that she's due. Or so help me, I'll have you brought up on charges. I'm a synth, which means I need to be destroyed. If you disobey your orders, you're not only betraying Maxim, you're betraying the Brotherhood of Steel and everything it stands for. Synths can't be trusted. Machines were never meant to make their own decisions. They need to be controlled. If it needs to be done, then so be it. I've never been prouder of you than I am right now, sister. It's been a pleasure serving with you. We must stay on mission, no matter the cost. Now, do it. Have you handled the situation with Paladin Dance? Did you want his holotags as proof? That won't be necessary. Perhaps you should keep them as a reminder of your lapse in vigilance. Of course. Dance's execution creates a missing link in our chain of command. That traitor held quite an important position with us. I'm certain that you'll make a fine replacement. His quarters and all his possessions are now yours. Including his personal suit of power armor. While the finishing touches are being put onto Liberty Prime, Captain Kells has identified a potential threat to our operations. Report to him immediately for your next assignment. Hello and welcome back to more Steven Place Fallout 4. Man, what an adventure it's been. We have slowly but surely worked our way up through the Brotherhood of Steel ranks, and in doing so, we've done something far more important. Earned honor. The road has not always been easy, but we've made it work. And now... We are a paladin. Holy cow. Our next mission, the one we are working on today, is tactical thinking, which requires going down here and talking to Captain Kells. Ah, paladin. Good. Now that the unfortunate matter regarding dance has been settled, we can return to our primary mission. I'm ready, Captain. Good, because this mission demands your full attention. Now, before we launch our attack on the Institute, we need to address another threat. The Railroad. They're a small but capable group that uses subterfuge and guerrilla tactics to harass their enemies. Our tactical analysis says they could possibly hamper or harm our operations, which is a risk I'm not willing to take. If we strike them now, we should be able to maximize the amount of damage we do to their organization. Why is the Railroad such a threat? Even with their relatively small numbers, the Railroad is a constant threat to our operations. They've already proven to be resilient against superior forces. With a knack for disappearing when cornered, worse still, they possess the capability to help synths flee the Institute. If we intend to end the synth menace, we need to plug the leaks. Destroying the railroad hinges on completely eliminating their leadership. Otherwise, they'll simply regroup somewhere else. To that end, here's a list of the five targets we believe would cause a catastrophic failure in their chain of command. 
Consider it done. Thank you, Paladin. Now, before you depart, Proctor Ingram has additional orders for you to complete. Our sources tell us that the Railroad has some sort of experimental or prototype robot in their headquarters. They're calling it the Predictive Analytic Machine, or PAM for short. Cute, huh? They use the robot for complex strategic calculations that are much more efficient than anything we can generate here. If you could use this holotape to decrypt the security on Pam's terminal, it will force the unit to return to the Pridwin. I'm certain we could put Pam's computing power to good use. Otherwise, destroy it. We wouldn't want it to fall into the Institute's hands. I'm not really the hacking type. Then find someone who is and take them with you. I'd hate to see that robot go to waste just because you don't know a terminal from the rear end of a Brahmin. I hope I don't need to remind you that the acquisition of technology is one of our most sacred tenets. When you're ready, proceed to the Old North Church and link up with our assault team. They'll provide demolition support and all the firepower you'll need to take the railroad down. Add Victorium, Paladin. Alright. I am now officially enemies with the railroad, but who needs them anyway? Unfortunately, I'm... I'm not a hacker type. I have not, uh... I have certainly not built my my character around that, and that's going to prove a bit of a problem. Um, that being said, I don't really like traveling with anyone other than Old Frosty here, so I don't know. Maybe I should just take uh, take my dog and see what happens. Maybe it doesn't even require hacking. Maybe that's just something the game says, right? Maybe. Eh, it'll probably be fine. Either way, uh, we currently need to get to. The Old North Church. <laughs> I've been there before. I know the way. So I've just arrived at the Old North Church, and I decided to check the priority kill uh, order that we were given by Captain Kells. Desdemona, Tinker Tom, Deacon, Dr. Carrington, Glory. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium, indeed. I also decided to grab uh, Paladin Dance's armor. I don't really, uh, I don't really want to talk about that anymore. Let's see, what do I have here? My pistol? I don't think we'll need the pistol. I think we'll- Oh, yeah! While in power armor, you can't smash. Well, if I can't smash, then I'll have to slice. Seems like we've already got some... Alright, stay frosty, knights. I got this under control. Gotcha. Doggone railroad filth. One down. Gotcha. Alright. Doing pretty good. We don't seem to have a lot of support here. They seem to really want me to uh, do most of the heavy lifting. Which is fine. Are you guys the ones throwing the Molotovs? Holy crap, you're terrible. Yeah. Man, they're really... <laughs> They've got all this technology in the form of pan- Oh, did you catch my dog on fire? Wrong move, buddy. Alright. Things are going- Things are going alright. That's right. Get him, Frosty! Ugh. Have you met my dog? His name's Frosty. Frosty Exhale. But we call him Frosty for short. Alright. Let's go in to... Let's see, where do we have to... We probably have to go down to where the railroad actually are. What are you doing? Keep your weapon drawn. Are you insane? All right, I'm gonna go into first person so I can kill these sons of guns just a little bit more easily. Was that was that our guy? Well, that wasn't very neighborly of you. Try this on for size. <laughs> That was pretty good, not gonna lie. One of the advantages of uh, building towards melee like this is that on... Let's see, which perk is it? I believe it's... Yeah, on yeah on the fourth perk of Big Leagues, you hit all targets in front of you, and that applies to Vats too. If there's two people standing close to each other, <laughs> bada bing, bada boom, they're dead. Sucks for you. Alright, let's keep moving. I hear you. Don't worry, I got you, knight. Once, twice, three times a lady. Ugh! Yeah! 
You didn't need that leg anyway. Oh! Once again, I managed to chop a two-for-one deal here. Alright, keep walking with me. Wait, no, walk this way. <laughs> Don't worry, I've, I've been here before. Let's see. Alright, get back! P please? Is it open? Hello! My name's Nora! Ugh. Nice to meet you! Uh-huh. Coming in! Ugh. That guy just exploded. He didn't have a shot. Ugh. Ugh. Man, we are cutting them up bad. All right. You ready, Frosty? That's right, get pissed. <laughs> Who? Who could it be? Nora Jones is home. Ugh. Oh, that didn't kill you. This will. Ugh. Good night, drummer boy. Drumming no more. Oh, I can't wait to put an end to all this filth. You just became my target. Ugh. Wait, what? Did I miss? Holy crap! Ugh. See you later, alligator. Gotcha! Alright, glory's down. Continuing to take on these railroad agents. Aw, oh, that's cute. You got your little laser pistol. Not gonna be any match for my big old flame sword. Where are we? God, you shape-shifting weirdo. Ugh. Take that! And you went down so easily. Holy crap. Oh, look! It's the leader! I think I'll have fun with this one. Yeah. Is that all of them? We're missing some- Tinker Tom! You crazy fool. Wow. It only took one soldier to take down your entire operation. I do like your overalls, though. You okay, Frosty? You seem fine. Hmm, let's see. Wow. It was almost boring. Gracious. Stim pack. Desdemona. Well, I have the key now. A railway rifle. Hmm. Hello, Pam. Pam, security lockdown is in effect. Communication impossible. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Just like I suspected, hacking is not even required. That's kind of weird. So we're going to put in the Pam Decryption program. All right, load this in. Pam Decryption start. Pam unit has been reset to default command mode. We should be all set. All right, perfect. Um, let's go ahead and eject this. I don't know if I'll need it again, but... Pam? Instructions. Pam. Factory reset mode enabled. Command mode available. Ready for programming instructions. Recommend interface type RJ11G. Full system reset except. Wow. It's actually kind of incredible how easy that was. It was basically, yeah, throw this holotape in there and she's yours. So now we have her. Hmm. God, what a dump place. Huh, is there anything else in here worth grabbing? No, I don't think so. Some ammo here and there. Tinker Tom's Terminal. I wonder if there's anything interesting in there. Uh, active hypotheses. Okay, aliens are real. Of course he would think that. Disproved theories. Nuka-Cola Strawberry. <laughs> he was a funny guy. Alright, well, that's done. The Brotherhood is the only faction in the entire Commonwealth that makes any sense. So, um, getting rid of these nut jobs is, uh, just one for the good guys. Let's take a look at our mission data, shall we? Report back to Captain Kells. Well, I think that won't be too difficult. Well, it 
appears that the railroad won't be a hindrance to our future operations. Those sympathizers deserved exactly what they got. That they did. I'm also pleased you managed to secure Pam, rather than allow it to be destroyed. We are having it brought to the Pridwin, where it will be installed in Proctor Quinlan's office. It's an amazing piece of pre-war technology that should prove to be quite beneficial to us. Speaking of pre-war technology, Proctor Ingram is putting the final touches on Liberty Prime and requires your assistance. Congratulations on another successful mission, Paladin. Ad Victorium. Yeah! Ad Victorium indeed. And a level up. I may be an idiot, but it does lead to some pretty incredible experience gains as it continues to climb. 2,500. Not bad indeed. All right, so a tactical thinking done. Uh, we start Spoils of War, and we need to go talk to Proctor Ingram.